Today, I'm introducing Cake 1.1. Over the past year, over 150 cakes have entered the wild. I'm so proud that the project has set a standard for affordable fail-on switches, not to mention the reliability. <laughs> Cake 1.1 solves the key problem that builders were having with the original build of the switch. The lower M3 T-nut has had some reported stripping issues over extended use. The remedy for this is a much larger M4 T-nut. The cap head screw has been switched to a button head, keeping the driver size the same, so the 2.5mm Allen key you've been using still works. The inside maintains the same fail on design, but the stationary contacts now key into the top. The side mounting holes have a reduced diameter and support two styles of mounting. Style 1 is M4 machine screw direct into the TPU. Style 2 is a bolt with an M3 machine screw and lock nut. If using through bolts, do not over tighten. This will seize the moving contact on the inside. Screws should be snug, but not tight. Personally, I use M4 directly into the TPU through the side rail of the robot. For connection to the wiring harness, it's recommended to use ring connectors. If you decide to direct solder, remove stationary contacts before soldering. Cover the stationary contacts completely with tape before installation. Using a 2.5mm Allen key, slowly turn the main bolt counterclockwise until you hear a power on beep. Then continue to turn counterclockwise two more full rotations. The robot is now turned on. Using a 2.5mm Allen key, turn the main bolt clockwise three times. Listen to the robot and confirm there are no idle beeps before removing from the cage. Clean contacts between events using a Scotch-Brite pad or kitchen sponge. Using light pressure, brush contacts until shiny. Always follow the direct instructions of CAGE staff, and be familiar with your event's safe load and unload procedures. Cake 1.1 is now available for purchase on MaximizerMerch.com. Thank you all so much for your support on this project.